we are good to go for four kilometers against the clock and against each other. How have the starts been? We're about to get our first indication. Italy slightly quicker, just over a tenth. Yeah, Nia Evans, the leading rider here for Great Britain, getting the team up to speed. Just two tenths difference to the Italians at the moment, that's okay. GB normally do a long turn at the start to get the team up to a nice settled pace, and you can already see that time's coming back. Yeah, eight hundredths the difference. Italy ever so slightly slower. We're going into two laps, and now it's Great Britain who move into the lead. One tenth quicker. This could be another really tight seesaw battle between two of the top nations on the earth. But Great Britain are putting time into the Italians at the end of this first kilometer. They are six tenths up already. That is a huge gap so early on. It's Anna Morris on the front here for Great Britain. She's followed by Katie Archwood, who will hit the front for her first turn now. There is Cam Meyer, the Australian. Now working for the British track squad. Top rider on track and road. So much experience and plenty of big jerseys and medals for him. He told his women that they were about to pull on a jersey. They're doing the job, but we know that it is four kilometers long this race, and we saw in the bronze medal match how quickly things can change, but it's looking good for Great Britain, who are a second not now, Joe. It's looking very good, and they've been the quickest team throughout these championships. They were the fastest qualifiers yesterday. They were the faster out of them and the Italians in the first round this morning. And they're currently delivering in this final as well when it matters. Still more than a second up. And that continues. They build another tenth into the lead, heading into the halfway stage. It's on Marco Villa on the other side of the track. Pointing up the numbers, giving the advice to his charges. Still the lead continues to grow. Yeah, this is Josie Knight here now for Great Britain, riding in position four. Her first turn on the front. Again, normally does a big, long first turn. Change in the Italian team as they bring back good three or four tenths there. Remember, no Paternoster in for this final. Balsamo, Firenze, Guazzini going well. It's one second. Italy down to three riders with one and a half kilometers still to ride. And it looks as though Great Britain might be about to join them because of the gap at the back here. Is this where it could go apart for Great Britain? Let's see, because there's another gap to the wheel. They've got to be careful. Italy with three riders and with one and a half seconds of a delay, but there were gaps opening up between the wheels there for Great Britain with a kilometre to go. It's up to 1.7 now at the 3K mark, but all... Oh, Archibald's going too quickly. <laughs> painful moments here for GB. Now, what's happening to the time? Oh, more it's than two, two seconds, seconds here. Now. It's two seconds. They just have to hold it. Great Britain are going at lightning speed here. Italy have been losing the time, but Great Britain, you're just seeing these little gaps opening up between the wheels. Still two laps to go here. Archibald is on fire. She's too good for her own team today. Yeah, she's found herself back on the front again, having got in the middle of the two runners when she changed. Italy still riding a really good team pursuit, but they're, they're nearly two seconds down. It's bell lap now. Time taken by the third rider over the line. Doesn't matter how far ahead the first rider is. It's all about that third rider. And Italy suffering from the same problem here. Great Britain are ahead by just over a second and a half. That is growing. They all come together. Great Britain are about to be European champions. They have beaten the world champions, both giving their full effort, both with worrying moments in those final couple of laps as it threatened to come to pieces. But Great Britain hold on, and they are the greatest in Europe. The European title goes to the Great Britain.